is Azriel Clary harassing Jocelyn Savage. Because that's what it is at the end of the day. She harassing that girl. That girl don't want to have anything to do with her. What make her think that she can reach out to her after she said what she said? And after she did what she did? Girl, you accused that girl of something so sinister and she denied it. And you fought her. That whole fight was on live. And not only that, it went even more nationwide when TMZ shared it. That girl don't want to have anything to do with that girl. And she know it. I'm going to tell y'all what she trying. She trying to get Jocelyn Savage on her side because it's getting close to the time where R. Kelly is getting ready to go to trial. That's what that is. Jocelyn Savage is R. Kelly's main witness. That's his key witness. Jocelyn Savage going to shoot down everything that Azriel Clary put out there, and she know it. That's why she's trying to reach out to that girl. She don't care about that girl. No. Nah. And I'm going to tell you something else. The little situation about the car, yes, I saw that. I just didn't speak on it. But now I am. Fraud. All day, every day. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days in a year. That was insurance fraud all day long. Why you posing next to a burnt up car? And why your daddy never came down to the internet like he normally come down to the internet and speak on it? That's what made it look more suspicious. Her daddy speak out on everything. But when that happened... He said nothing. Why they ain't got no security? Why they ain't got no cameras around their house? Because according to them, they've been getting threats for months. Y'all ain't got no security cameras? It makes no sense. That was insurance fraud all day long. And I'm going to tell you another thing that I noticed with Miss Azriel Clary. Azriel Clary is ready to sell her soul by any means necessary. She done already told us she eat doo-doo. And then she came down to the social media with another YouTuber doing a half-naked soft porn photo shoot. That was soft porn. It sure was. I mean, what was the purpose of it? If you had any class about yourself, you would have put some clothes on and did a more classy-based, professional photo shoot. No, you had to get half naked. She wanted to be in the industry so bad, but she headed down the wrong road, and she's going to come to a dead end. How long do she think that the people in her age bracket is going to follow her? They only followed her to get the tea on R. Kelly. And she ain't been dishing none of that. I mean, what more can she tell y'all when she's a star witness in the case? And the thing about her calling the feds the same day she got into it with Jocelyn Savage. She called the feds and told them about the tapes and all this and they raided his warehouse his storage and a lot of people was under the impression that she probably planted some tapes in there right but what they fail to realize is this is our Kelly we talking about okay if she put anything in that storage that can go against R. Kelly, it ain't gonna do nothing but come back on her. They got cameras. This is R. Kelly we talking about. Y'all think that man got his possessions somewhere where anybody can just have access to it? No. They got cameras. All their lives gonna catch up with them. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. When this story first came out it started with the savages 
I honestly believe them. But what had happened was they came down to the social media and started talking too much. They started doing too much. They went on a smear R. Kelly campaign. They was hopping from channel to channel, station to station, making video after video. And every time they did anything or said anything, they was exposing themselves. Jocelyn Savage is not ready to leave R. Kelly. She going to leave R. Kelly when she get ready on her own terms. It's not going to be because of what her mama and daddy and sister doing and what Asriel Clary and her family is saying. She going to leave when she get ready. Y'all notice how Dominique Garden went on about her life? Because she knows that 99% of this stuff that they accusing R. Kelly of is false. It's not true. Asriel Clary used her situation with R. Kelly to come up. She thinks she on top of the world. Because she got a few followers and a few views. But what she don't know is, if she would have stuck in there like Jocelyn Savage, she could have got more. She could have got a little bit further in due time. But by her going against R. Kelly, none of this stuff is going to work out in her favor. She ain't going to go no further than social media. That girl ain't finna get no Grammys. Do y'all actually think them white folks finna deal with her? And she done did what she did to one of the most popular entertainers in the game? I can't have been in the game almost 30 years. And for her to come along and say the things that she said, she think that she just gonna groove on through life? And become this big star? No. That's not how it's work. That's not how this work, baby. She already blackballed, but she too stupid to realize. That child ain't going no further than social media. If anything, she going in a porn direction. Her career is so close to porn she too stupid to see it. That's the direction she had it in. That's what everybody see her as. She was one of R. Kelly concubines. She ate poop. And now that every time you see her, she half naked online. She ain't gave y'all no music. She blaming it on Rona. Rona ran down on us. Okay. And stayed for a while. Rona still her. But before Rona ran down on us, what was she doing? She didn't put out no music. She was too busy on her YouTube channel sampling everybody else's music instead of putting out samples of her own music. I'm going to tell you the truth. How I feel about Asriel Clary. I really wanted to like her. I really tried to like her. Regardless of everything that she said about R. Kelly. Regardless of everything that's been going on with her surrounding this R. Kelly scandal. I wanted to like Azriel. But she just kept doing stupid stuff. Saying stupid stuff. And not only that, she done got caught up in so many lies. Her daddy don't got caught up in so many lies. It's like they clout chased R. Kelly when she was actually in a position where she didn't even have to do that. She just let all the wrong people in her ear. And now look at him. She ain't got nothing but some followers. 
She ain't got no career in the industry. Them people gassed that girl head up so bad. She thought, or maybe still think, that she the next Aaliyah, the next Beyonce. Girl, she ain't even the next Fantasia. They played on a lot of people's feelings and emotions with all those lies. And I'm going to tell y'all something about Miss Karma. When she come through, she come through. She come through and shut it down. That's all I see in her future is a whole lot of karma. You cannot possibly do the things she did and say the things that she said about these people and think that it's going to be smooth sailing. It don't work like that. Y'all can say what y'all want to say about R. Kelly, but he's standing ten toes down on his word. He ain't admitted to nothing. He going all the way with his innocence. And I'm here for it, honey. I can't wait till the trial come because I want to see how it turned out versus his first trial.